Now for a scam alert. A man in Mobile recently got a call from someone claiming to be his grandson, begging for money or he would be thrown in jail. It's a common scam that is targeting the elderly. News 5's Ashley Knight tells you what you need to look out for in tonight's Scam Busters report. We've told you a little about the grandparent scam before, but then I met someone who actually received one of those calls, Jim Eubanks. It sounded very authentic. And he can tell you firsthand. So yeah, it was very believable. How convincing it can be. And I heard this whiny, slurred voice on there saying grandpa. The scammer pretending to be Eubanks' grandson then passed the phone to another scammer pretending to be an officer. Your grandson was in a car that was pulled over by the troopers for a traffic violation, smelled alcohol, and the strong smell of what he suspected was marijuana. The fact that he knew all the police jargon made it more believable. Yeah, when this guy got on there and gave me his name and he was very knowledgeable and had a badge number and a precinct number and all that. But then they asked for $2,000 for bail and said that they couldn't take a credit card. And you have to get the card that says I-T-U-N-E-S. I, like I couldn't spell iTunes, you know. Then Eubanks knew without a doubt it was a scam. You know, you're not going to scam me, fella. I, I've got too much background and knowledge in this stuff. The scammers were adding insult to injury. Eubanks had just lost his wife of over 40 years. But that was exactly how the scammers found him. They troll the obituaries and they try to find an elderly man who has lost his wife of many years with a grandson. Well, it's believable because they're playing on the emotions of others. You know, they're uh, really sounding dis distraught, distressed. And now Eubanks doesn't want to see someone else be taken in. After 32 years in the Army, I know, never underestimate your enemy. And they say if you get this call and you aren't sure, try asking the person questions that only your grandchild would know. Other than that, don't call them back. Just hang up and don't answer if they call again. I'm Ashley Knight, and this scam has been busted.